Manoir. Communication cable for parallel connection. Set of MC4 connectors, male and female. MC4 connector spanner. Mounting accessories. Temperature sensor for lead acid battery. Wall mounting hangers. Mounting screws. This is the Daya 6 kilowatt off grid inverter. It has an inbuilt MPPT charge controller. Here is uh, for battery input where you connect your battery positive and negative your communication cables, then your load. Here is for generator input. Here is for grid input. Then your off and on switch. Then um, this is for Wi-Fi communication for monitoring. Then these are the PV input terminals. It comes with uh, two strings, two PV strings, PV1 and PV2. We have positive we have positive here, negative, positive, negative. So this, uh, with this inverter, you can connect your solar panels in series. You don't need a combiner box. And the total PV input power of this inverter is uh, 9,600 watts. So each of these string can take uh, 4,800 watts, 4,800 watts. And the maximum PV input voltage is five. 100 volts uh, DC and uh, it also have a, a screen here is a touch screen but with buttons you can operate with using the buttons and you can operate uh, uh, with the touch screen and here we have uh, a heat sink there's a heat sink here massive heat sink the inverter is IP65 rated and uh, it's nice looking. We'll open here and see what is inside. It is a 48 volt inverter, so you can connect it to a 48 volt battery, and it is compatible with both lithium and lead acid battery. The DC operating voltage is 40 to 60 volts. These are the battery terminals, battery negative battery positive then these are the communication ports you want to connect in parallel and um, your BMS uh, communication cable from inverter to your battery then this is for your load life neutral gen connection life neutral and grid you can connect your grid uh, and gen input then you can see the fan here there's one fan here and also one fan at the bottom here. Like I said, it is IP65. You can see this uh, protection here. All right, let's quickly look at the specifications of this inverter. You can use it for both lead, acid, or lithium battery. The uh, battery voltage range is from 40 to 60 volts. Maximum charging and discharging current is 135 amps. The maximum PV input power is 9,600 watts. So each of the strings, each of these strings can take 4,800 watts. That is 9,600 divided by two. The maximum PV input voltage is 500 volts. Then the uh, required startup voltage for this inverter is 125 volts. Then the MPPT voltage range is between 150 to 425 volts. And uh, the maximum operating current is 18 amps per string. This string uh, will take can take up to 18 amps. This string can also take up to 18 amps. 
then the maximum PV input short circuit current is 27 amps per string. This string is 25, 27 amps, and this string is 27 amps. Then the MPPT trackers, we have two MPPT uh, trackers. Then on the AC side, the rated AC output power, power is 6,000 watts, which is 6,000, 6 kilowatts. The maximum AC output current is 26.1 amps. The peak power of this inverter is two times the rated power of the inverter, which is 12,000 watts. But this will peak at uh, 10 seconds for 10 seconds. Then the rated output voltage, it is 230 uh, volts. This is a single phase inverter. It is a pure sine wave inverter. The AC input for grid and generator, uh, the maximum uh, input power from your grid or generator is 6,000 watts. Input voltage is 230 volts. And the grid input current and uh, generator input current is 35 amps. The maximum efficiency is 96.50%. Um, and the MPPT efficiency is more than 99%. I'm going to connect this inverter to a battery and test its idle power consumption. We are going to connect this inverter to this five kilowatt hour lithium battery using these cables. So we connect a positive to the positive terminal of the inverter. You have to be careful of the polarity. Look at the inverter positive connect the red cable to where it is labeled inverter positive and we take our negative and connect to where you see minus positive is plus negative is minus connect our communication cable between the inverter and the battery here this is just to enable us to test the idle power consumption of the inverter. So here uh, we can switch on the inverter. I mean uh, the battery, sorry. We can switch on the, the battery. The battery is on and it is working. Switch on our breaker. Voltage now is 53.55 volts. Then let's see the current. Current is one amp. So the idle power consumption is 50, 53 watts. That is the idle power consumption of this inverter. The idle power consumption of an inverter is the power consumption of the inverter when no load is connected to this inverter. So this is the power the inverter used to run its internal circuit. That is what is called the idle power consumption. And you have to factor this uh you have to take into consideration the idle power consumption of an inverter when you're sizing your solar power system because most inverters with high idle power consumption can drain your batteries uh, um, very fast and uh, it will not be good if you don't take it into consideration because your battery bank will be depleted very fast this is how far we can go this is the inverter, six kilowatts. From there, I will do a performance test on the inverter and also let you know. Thank you for watching.